Hi, it's Larry the Llama here. How you doing? Maybe you heard about this shocking murder trial that happened. Four guys found guilty of killing 17 innocent people and wounding dozens more in a crowded intersection. But the shocking part is these guys were working for the government and they were paid for by you and me. This slaughter took place in central Baghdad in 2007 and the guys were mercenary soldiers employed by a company called Blackwater. Just four out of the 180,000 so-called private contractors employed in Iraq by the U.S. government. 20,000 more than U.S. troops there at the time. Okay, most of these contractors were doing basic jobs, even peeling potatoes. But 30,000 of them were armed and dangerous. The case of the massacre of the 17 civilians in Nisaw Square was only the most famous case of many. What's new is the scale of it. War has been privatized. Private security is a $50 billion industry. You see, regular armies are expensive. Contractors are cheaper. A mercenary can earn 10 times a regular combat soldier's pay, but the government's got no pension or health care costs to pick up. It also saves the government the embarrassment of running out of soldiers and having to introduce an unpopular draft. So who's making all the money here? Blackwater was getting such a bad press, it's changed its name twice, but it's the same company and still doing work for the CIA. Remember Halliburton? Once run by Vice President Dick Cheney, its subsidiary KBR picked up nearly $40 billion worth of contracts in the last 10 years from Iraq alone. But if there's so much money to be made for corporate America from war, imagine the pressure on Congress and the White House to just keep on invading places.